Good evening, and welcome to Christian Fellowship. My name is Mike, and today is 4-17-2020, and it's about 4.37 p.m. in the afternoon, Fall River, Massachusetts. And I hope everybody, again, is doing well today. I have had a pretty good day so far. I mean, being retired, although I'm a pretty active person, being retired and with this stay in your dwelling place thing that the government has put us in, um, which we've, you know, well, in my situation, it's, it's, uh, I have to, by my not doing it, it's going to cause a whole bunch of family people to be very upset. And I just, no big thing. You know, they need to change, and I can't make them change. Okay, so today I got to spend a little time with Max from Crow House in his dwelling place. He's over in Australia. He had a very nice show he put on from uh, from his, uh, usually you see him in the parks. He does a walk and talk. But today he, was, he did like a, a home and talk, I guess you'd call it. I don't know, Max, what do you think? Max is about probably my age, or maybe uh, I'm older than he is, I don't know. And then um, I watched the Dollar Vigilante. He had actually some very positive things to say. You know, things haven't changed all that much, but things uh, there are some hopeful signs on the future. And um, High Impact Blogs, uh, Brian, he... he uh, he had a couple of positive things to say too, and um, but we're still seeing, you know, they're gonna now they're talking about opening the government. But now they're gonna do it in three phases, and there's also huge problems with the uh, stimulus check thing and the uh, small loans. Of course, the banks and all the big businesses—they already got their money, so there's no problems for them. Um, just the peons um, that, you know, as long as they get theirs, that who cares about anybody else. But anyway, um, I hope you woke up this morning and uh, said good morning to Jesus and asked the Spirit to guide your day today. Everybody should do that every day. And uh, it's... Uh, You may not feel anything change, but things, once you ask the Lord and his spirit and his father to step into your life and help you, they do that. You may not feel any spiritual revelation or anything, but they do it. And um, because in our flesh world body, we look for, you know, stimuluses, flesh stimuluses that don't always come from the spirit world. Sometimes they do. I've experienced one. And um, actually, there was another girl. I forget her name. She's, her last name, I think, is Fontaine. She's from Louisiana. She puts up uh, quite a bit of stuff. And uh, I can't find her name here. Um, but anyway, that's there's no big thing on that. Um, she put up a, a video. It was about people, I guess, down in Louisiana somewhere. It was some people out of a nursing home, one of them was, and uh, a couple of other people who uh, actually got direct revelation from the Spirit of the Lord. And they got, you know, the Lord stepped in and, and took care of their uh, flu symptoms, which they call this COVID-19 thing. Um, and one lady is very old. I mean, it affects the older people more. Um, the guy, he would have been probably, I don't know, maybe in his 50s, 60s. Um, and they definitely experienced the presence of the Lord. And if you, I have, and when that happens, you, you become a great witness for him because he is real. And he is here with us right now. He's with me. And Lord, I forgot, Lord, would you come and be with me, sit with me and interpret for me and to 
to whoever is watching these. If you've got some people you want to watch, I'm sure they're watching. Um, but uh, so I watched uh, I watched her some of her videos and uh, then I watched <laughs> I watched her, a guy uh, very I'm, I'm getting kind of interested in uh, uh, survival skills in the wilderness and there's there's quite a bit of stuff out there. And just in case, you know, that ever comes up in the future, we, we need to um, be able to survive. I'll have some ideas from watching these videos. And um, pretty, pretty interesting stuff, really. Um, and then I crochet, I've, I've told you, I'm still I'm making a new scarf. Let's see, I'm sure get them now. Yeah, not, not bad getting along with it. And um, I know how you're keeping yourself busy, um, but I hope you are. But just to sit there and worry about things, is, it's really not going to do too much of anything except depression. You have to, uh, you know, whether it be get into cleaning up some of the mess that's in your house that you've been wanting to get to, now you have some time. Um, you know, you could do stuff on the computer. You could do some research. Um, you know, I guess you you know you can watch movies and stuff. I brought a suggestion of how they can correct all this: is that's get rid of the TVs, get rid of the cell phones, and computers. Take them off the internet because really these these cell phones and computers and, and uh, TV. Technology, basically all of it. The enemy, and this has always been a battle between good and evil, right from the beginning of time. Um, the enemy, although you know there's great uses for cell phones, but there's also evil uses, and evil has turned. They're using this as a weapon. And it's funny because. We are, it's almost like they're handing you a weapon and saying, we want you to kill yourself with this. And people, <laughs> they're, using, they're, they're using the weapon that the enemy gave them to harm themselves. But if everybody, and you wouldn't get everybody because there are people that definitely they they listen to mainstream media and they believe everything mainstream media tells them. Which that's you know mainstream media is owned I think they said by six families all the Hollywood all of them all your newscast stations and everything by six families that's a pretty big monopoly folks yeah and they own you know. And, uh, Disney, Google, Facebook, all that. It's those are all things, big, huge business corporations, monopolies that they think that less people in the world would be a better thing. And I don't think they checked that out with Yahweh or God or Jesus or Spirit. I don't think they asked. They're just acting on their, their own wishes. So anyway, they were talking about, you know, President Trump is going to open up the government. Now it's going to be in three phases. <laughs> just open up the government. And if you watch some of these videos, some of these, there's a lot of unrest in a lot of the states. Michigan, Texas, California, um, South Carolina, Florida is people that are just saying, you know what, we've had it, you know, and a lot of them are waking up, they're, they're, uh, they're listening to these shows by the Dollar Vigilante and High Impact Flicks and uh, X-22 does a little bit more positive, he's, he's into Q, and a lot of the other, you know, Crow House and Vigilante and I, they're not buying the Q thing anymore. Um, they believe that Trump is 
President Trump is part of this. So there's different factions, you know, you got to watch. Although I did hear of the police in South Carolina, they were at a church because the church was going to have a service. And the pastor came out in the parking lot. They had 20 police cars. <laughs> Jeez. And the police came over and talked to the pastor and said, you know, hey, people can come in. We'll give them one warning and then we're going to take them and arrest them. And the pastor said something about, you know, hey, we have we have freedom under the Constitution. And he says, and the, the, and the officer said, no, you have no more rights. Your rights have been taken away. You don't have a Constitution anymore. Actually came out of his mouth. Now, if we have governors that are telling that to their law enforcement, we got a big problem in this country then. Because then that March 13th date when Trump signed over the, de the uh, declaration of uh, emergency and gave control over the FEMA, and FEMA is not elected by the people. FEMA then controls, from that day, for six months, controls the country. Yeah. So the so the governors would answer to FEMA, not to the president. People don't realize that. That's not a good thing. And I think that's why we're seeing these uh, governors and mayors, they're not following the Constitution. Because they're told they don't have to anymore, for at least six months anyway. And there's lawsuits going on, you know. I, my, just stay with Jesus. Because when you get with him, like right now, it's a peaceful situation, you know. I listened to Crow House this morning on his porch, you know. It's a beautiful place he has, you know. Not like a fancy mansion like some of these people have. Hold on for a minute. Hey, Lori.